peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. I hope that you are doing well and feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. My beautiful Libras, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to your free natal chart so that you may explore all of these beautiful energies that are from within inside of you. Beautiful Libras, let's get into it. This is a twin flame union reading, okay? If you have crossed paths with your twin flame, if you believe you may have had a twin flame connection, this read is for you, beautiful ones, okay? There's no experience like it. This reading, I want to be very clear that a twin flame is in no way or fashion someone who is physically abusive to you, all right? So let's just get that out the way and get off into the energies, beautiful ones. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. As I channel these messages, I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Remember to take what is yours and to leave what is not. This is a general message. Thank you. Beautiful Libras. Happy Saturn Day. I may be back tonight with a Saturn Day Night Live. Okay, so beautiful ones. I'm trying to roll them out for you. Wow. The Twin Flame wants you to know it's you. It has always been you, okay? It's always been you, beautiful ones. Cards for Libra. This is messages from the Twin Flame Oracle. The Twin Flame Oracle, okay? Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? This is your energy that's shooting out, letting you know straight off the bat what time it is. This is for you. Beautiful energy. You could be dealing with someone who has a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius in their chart as well. It's always been you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. These cards ready to go. They activated. Yes. The answer is a yes. Okay. In this energy, it's a yes. Thank you, Spirit. We got three that came out. Somebody has awakened, okay? Somebody has awakened in your energy. Summer, June, July, August. If you're looking for a time, something more specific, this energy will take place. Summer, June, July, or August, all right? Mm-hmm, beautiful ones. And be sure to comment below, all right, to let me know exactly what takes place in this energy for you with this frequency of your twin flame. I'm dealing with my karmic. Somebody's dealing with their karmic right now, beautiful ones. They are. They're dealing with their karmic. However, that energy is being dealt with. But your soulmate, you're the soulmate. Overall energy is the soulmate, beautiful ones. Give me another card. Okay, and that one. For one day, I'm not afraid to fall, okay? Okay, I feel like this card should say I'm not afraid to fail. But I, what I get from this energy right away, mm, and they also want you to know, you're going to see me, okay? You're going to see me. This is your person talking to you. Um, what I get from that is this for one day, I'm not afraid to fall. This is someone who's possibly, you know, been falling off. They've been falling off. Whatever it is that has been a hindersome in their life with toxic addictions, okay? 
they have fell back into that energy and they're trying to come up out of this energy of falling back into that hole, okay? So for one more day, they're not afraid, all right? Mm-hmm. Can we get a night away together? Someone wants to get a night away together. Somebody wants to spend time in the energy, okay? What else, spirit? One more shuffle and we'll go ahead and pull some more energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. These cards right here. Spirit says these two. Oh, those three. Okay. Wow, it came out. <laughs> somebody really wants to get a night away together, all right? And somebody is very serious when they say you're going to see me. And somebody is also in their ego, all right? Yeah. They're in their ego right now. Overall, energy is transformed. This person is transforming and they probably are, you know, in this energy of releasing that fight to transform. The next card out is take the leap. Take the leap, okay? I split the deck to when the time is right, run to me, okay? So someone wants you to know in the energy, they still want to be someone that you depend on to some degree, all right? When the time is right, whatever that's going to mean to you, you know what your relationship is with your person um, or the energy that you two share with one another. So let's go ahead. Let's tap into this energy. Excuse me while I put these cards back up into this crinkly bag. Yeah, so your person knows that they're going to see you. Uh-huh. Your person has plans. We're going to get some guidance from the Which Way Forward Oracle. Beautiful ones. Which Way Forward Oracle. Get some guidance. See what's going on. A journey is happening. Look, this card was flipped over. I flipped it over. There's a journey happening. You're going to see your person in that time frame that came up. Some of you may happen slightly before that is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of growing happening that I split the deck to. It's something growing in this energy. And it's requiring a lot that... This actually says transmute that shit, okay? Transmute that shit. That's what's going on. There's a lot of transmuting that is happening in the energy. Libra, twin flame energy. Libra, twin flame union. Twin flame union, twin flame energy. Thank you, spirit. Hearts, thank you. Prayer and meditation. Wow, powerful. And I'm looking at this card differently today. Thank you, Spirit. Anything is possible. Wow. Mmm. Flame. Growing, growing comes back out, okay? This person is doing, it's a lot of growth happening. I'm hearing fast, quick growth, like it's, things are changing quickly. All right, we'll take these and yeah, that's the three we need. Let's talk about it. What spirit wants you to know? So some prayer, some meditation, this is what's being asked of you and your person is what I'm getting, okay? This is going on with you. This is going on with your person. There's some type of mirror reflection happening in this energy. The anything is possible. Spirit is letting you know that anything is possible. Uh-huh. Yeah, so some of you may be dead set on something not happening. But really, it's based on what it is that you pray for, what it is you're meditating about. Because when you are really in sync with a twin, you two are to some extent growing 
in the energy together, okay? Right? It's about your personal growth, your personal relationship, your personal prayer, but it's about it also aligning in the stars, beautiful ones, with those who are sending out the same frequency, if that's a more clear way to put it. Growing is here. Lots of growth in this energy. Lots of growth is happening. Trip into the matrix. You could astro project. You could have dreams that are really futuristic seen into the future. Um, and also the past is what I'm getting. And it involves your person. This is like building castles in the sand, but in the ethers, beautiful ones, all right? So this is trip into the matrix. You may be taking trips into the matrix. You may be in this energy of really being able to tap into that state of the subconscious mind consciously. I mean, like you can go there just like bam, okay? Yeah. I do it all the time. Sight is here. And you do it because you have sight, okay? Because you have foresight. You see the eye that is right here? Let me grab my wine. All right? The eye that is here. The telescope and the lens that he's looking through. Her on the side, if you can see just part of her body, her silhouette, she still has sight. It's still one eye, keeping her eye on something. This is electric, electricity. This is a voltage, uh, a power. It's a power, okay? To have this sight. You have this sight. You too in this energy have this same foresight is what I'm getting. Light up the place. You're being told also to light up the place. It was 12, 12 on the timer. When I said light up the place, it was 12, 12. Okay, so this light up the place that you're doing, this is your frequency of what it is that you're sending out. Uh-huh, because there's a transformation that's happening within this lighting. You hold the key to it. This is what Spirit is saying. Like you have that power to pull through what it is that you're in meditation about. This light up the place, they're walking up the stairway into what looks like the staircase meeting the moon. And here's a butterfly to show that beautiful transformation of what's happening as you ascend, okay? I'm looking at someone ascending in a, an ascension of this energy between the both of you and your twin. Mm, powerful. Let's get right into it. There is a deck that I want to use for you all with this. Give me a minute, beautiful ones. It just hit me. What would be the best deck to use in this energy? One second. I was going to use another one, but it's something better. I may have to dig for it real quick. So bear with me, beautiful ones. I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Mm -hmm. One second. I don't have things so many decks packed away but I have many of the oracles out but there are some oracles that are just fit you know they're just fit for these type of reads here you go and with that being said I'm glad I'm looking because I have to pull some cards from the price of love. You know we have to get into that energy, okay? I'm trying to be mindful of my time, but I want to tap into this energy and get as much information. 
This is your twin flame reading. I don't do these very often. But when I do, I like to go in, okay? Let's get a few energies from the price of love. Spirit, Libra energy, twin flame energy, twin flame communication, twin flame communication, twin flame communication, Libra, we'll pull four, thank you Spirit. Mm, friendship. You two had a close bond. You had a friendship. And it was a lot of passion. It was a lot of passion. A lot of chemistry. You guys had a lot in common as well. But this is a friendship first is what I'm getting. This is a bond that was formed. The frequency is 35. Check the frequency. Get the high energy and the low energy of this number, all right? But this was a passionate friendship is what I'm getting. Oh, wow, okay. Bam, just like that. We got our four cards. Spirit wants you to know, first of all, this was a connection. This was you two connected overall energy on a heart level from the get-go, okay? This heart is this is locked in this is what i'm getting it says connection okay you connect it a dead end came all right this person was in the energy r what I, yeah what i'm getting is this person was at a dead end when they met you okay yeah and this one four three this is about this is Cortis Road. This is exit 143. This is Realville. Cortis Road is a heart. Cortis means heart. Follow your heart. This energy is wanting to follow their heart. Because something is something about your connection that was a wild card, all right? And this is those unexpected feelings, those unexpected awakenings of oneself and a part that they may have been disconnected in, okay? Let's tap into the wild card and go ahead and get into the tarot. Give us the wild card, spirit. Give us the wild card. Wow. Divine timing is the wild card. Wow. Energy keeps stressing in your readings, Libra. This divine timing is, you can feel the energy coming. And for many of you, it's going to be in the months that I mentioned, okay? But this divine timing energy, is, that's the wild card. But forgiveness is here now. Uh-huh. Forgiveness is here. Wow. When it comes to love, quit playing with me, Libra. When it comes to love, okay? Forgiveness is here. And you have to forgive because right now things are confusion. It's a lot of confusion. It's the confusion card. It's, you're confused about a lot of things. You don't have proper evidence on what it is you, you know, want to know in detail from this person, right? So spirit is asking you to deal with yourself with that energy, okay? Because if this is a, a friendship that is really divine, all right, in a twin flame energy, this is a bond. This is something, this is real love. This is somebody working from their heart space. Give me the friendship. Thank you, spirit. Friendship. Damn, quit playing. It's a connection, it's locked in. This is for life, okay? This is what I'm getting, frequency of 41. You can check the high vibration of 41 when we talk about a connection, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is the dead in here? Why did the dead end happen? Why is the dead in here, Spirit? Hey, Spirit. Oh, passion, okay? Passion. Mm, someone, someone didn't want to surrender. Overall energy is surrender. This is someone throwing up the white flag. Somebody 
Spirit, give me passion. Why did the passion end? Give me this energy. Thank you. Wow, money versus love. Yes, money versus love. They had a choice to make, and they chose money, okay? But now they're throwing up the white flag, surrendering in this energy. Mm. Wow, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Mm. Those of you who are curious about what's going on with your twin flame, there you go. This wild card situation. I feel like everything that happens to you on a whim, unless you are expecting it. I mean, you can feel it in your bones, right? That it's being delivered. It always feels like a wild card. Mm -hmm. When it arrives. When it arrives. But what Spirit wants you to do is be in alignment for its arrival is what I'm getting. Uh -huh. To know what frequency to operate in. We're using the Clarity Tarot to support with that, beautiful ones, okay? The Clarity Tarot is here. We'll tap into what type of, you know, um, partner this energy is going to be to you financially and spiritually, hopefully, okay? Intentions and all. We get some clarity. Twin flame energy. All right. Cards for Libra's twin flame energy. Twin flame energy. This is your twin flame reading, Libra. It's me. Okay. Two of these cards are gonna come out. Mm, okay, I like it. Four more spirit. Okay, we got one that flipped and one that fell. Okay. More cards, Spirit. More cards. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups was on top of the chariot, and the chariot is on top of the Empress. How about that? With the Queen of Cups. Mm, let's talk about this energy. All right, beautiful ones, let's get it. We got the High Priestess out here. Uh-huh, High Priestess is here with the Six of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands is here. A nine of swords, a seven of cups, the hermit, the two of cups, and the chariot. Hmm. Okay. So, Pisces Virgo energy, okay, with the high priestess, you can have these placements, but somebody is definitely, you know, this energy of being in their head more so you may not feel libra you know super romantic you, you know like you're not seeing the bluebirds in the sky yet when it comes to this love thing is what i'm kidding okay because this is romantic yet not well grounded you're still in this energy of grounding yourself even in your high priestess energy okay and what spirit is calling you to do in this energy, in this time, is to take advantage of the inner knowing. Yeah, take advantage of the inner knowing. 
the manuscripts that you write for yourself with inside yourself, that you're really opening up the records of self, your Akashic records, all right? To create a balance to do that is what I'm seeing spirit is guiding you towards. And there's the Six of Pentacles energy. Six of Pentacles is about sharing your resources, all right? Whatever these resources are, this resource will benefit the both of you and vice versa. This is sharing resources and both of you benefit. This is a financial backing, somebody who has your back financially and teamwork and vice versa. It's a feeding of energies. It's an exchange of energy. It's an energy exchange, beautiful ones, that's happening here. And you have the Nine of Wands that's here. And this is about resolving challenges with your partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the worst is over. Stability is ahead. That's what the Nine of Wands says. This is the wounded hero. So, see, the wounded hero, not only is he wounded, he's wounded from being a hero, but it's because he survived. And in that survival means that he gets to carry on. But this time he carries on more guarded with a fortress around him, a more of a protectiveness, more of a, a wisdom that's accompanied them because this is the energy of nine. And... This is also a yes card. You do want to overcome some things in your life after you have to go through them to get what it is that, you know, you have gone through. But the worst is over, okay, when it comes to this energy. So whatever's happening in an energy, whether it's with you or your person, this state of being all bad is over, okay? But they are stuck in their head. Someone is stuck in their head, whether it's you or your person or the both of you to some degree, right? Because this energy travels. It's a frequency. This nine of swords energy is feeling rejected or lonely or undervalued. You may feel this energy. Your person may feel this energy, okay? Someone could be dealing with someone in a wheelchair, um... Or have some type of handicap. However, mental disruptions, mental illness, this energy is being taken care of in this energy. It's birds on the line. Ancestors is what I'm being told that are supporting this energy while they're feeling physically down and out, okay, as well as mentally because the swords is communication. But what I'm getting is that this communication with these birds sitting on the line above them up here, right? They're helping to assist this energy to get out of this anxiety state that they have been placed in, right? The seven of cups is here. And this is about indulging in your fantasies. This is simply about your fantasies in this energy. Yeah, the things that you fantasize. Ah, I love it. Because <laughs> I, just, I just touched on the word. It's like that word has been coming up. Fantasy, fantasize, fantasism. Um, and the connection of the word phallus that it's connected to it's the frequency is is connecting all right so what i'm getting from that is there's is sources here sources in the making of bringing this energy to a to a realization of what it is that needs to be achieved to draw one closer okay one closer in this energy in this time okay Mm -hmm. This divine timing, and for everybody, we're all on different timelines, right? Seven of Cups is here, indulging in your fantasies and examining your choices carefully. Libra, you may be in this energy of, you know, thinking it's all type of things out here to think about, and you're examining which ones to pay attention to at this time. 
Mm -hmm. You got multiple choices. Hermit is here. And this hermit energy is somebody needed some time alone. Or somebody needs some time alone. And they need to learn what it's like to have more independence in their life, okay? Now, whether this is you or your person, this is someone who is learning what it's like to detach yourself from a codependent energy, okay? This is what I'm getting. And this is to prepare yourself for your twin, for your actual twin. And this would be that divine union. It's two of cups that's out here, okay? This is someone literally preparing themselves. They're going through all the different stages is what I'm getting as you sit in this high priestess energy. Mm-hmm. You go through these stages with them, but one is always going to be more advanced than the other in the process until you catch up. What I'm getting is when I was coming to that, you know, energy recognition in that time is this is someone catching up, okay, in the energy when it comes to your twin. Two of Cups is here, and this is harmony, and this is balance. You two are balancing out the energy. Whether you know it or not, this balance is happening in the energy, and this is mutual respect is being given. Somebody's learning to respect you in ways that they didn't even know to respect themselves, okay? So you have to give someone some grace. The chariot is here. This is about self-care instead of chasing love. Yeah, this is about you going towards your fantasies, indulging in your fantasies, going towards self-care. You don't need to chase any love. This is you balancing out what it is that is from within yourself when it comes to this twin flame union. Uh-huh, the white horse, the black horse. You got this energy that is wanting to really guide itself in because of that divine timing that's coming into play, right? It's a guide and it's steady in motion, but you're being told to don't rush. This card, it says don't rush. Uh-huh, yeah. Because connected to a divine union is going to be a dynasty, an empire. Some It's something that you're sent here to build with one another. You're just not hooking up to be in love, okay? What do you do with that love? That vibration of that love, it needs to carry out a frequency in order for you to really uphold your contract with what it is you've been asking for. Because remember, you're in meditation about this. You're in prayer about this. I mean, if you're really about this life and understanding that divinity is what is yours, look, you know, you can say what's meant to, you know, what's mine won't pass me. What's meant for me won't pass me by. You can say all of these things. But if you are not awakened to the sounds, the synchronicities, the symbolisms, the communications, the prophetess, the speakers, whoever it is, that whoever may speak a word that ties into what it is that has already been in your mind, okay? Then you miss out on things. You delay things. And we see that happen all throughout the Tarot's beautiful ones. So let's talk about it. Give us the high priestess. Thank you. All right. Mm, okay. Came out funky, but it's in the reverse, okay? Two of pentacles is here in the reverse. Now, let's check the energy because these cards are talking directly about relationships, how it is that you, you grow, okay? Not only spiritually together, but in the material world, in the 3D to be financially successful. So this is shared resources in working with love partner, okay? Now, in this high priestess energy, what I'm getting is that you've been in this energy, Libra, of really wanting to be in a union that it involves work and sharing your resources. And 
having juggling projects, a collaboration. And I'm just now seeing for the first time an infinity sign. I just heard till death do us part, okay? Now, whether this is a traditional wedding or just being locked in in that way, okay? Uh-huh. Because commitments are made in the spiritual realm first, right? Before you put them on any paper that man has made for you to do so. This is the infinity sign and it's on the boat's sail. Wow, it's on the sail of the boat, if I'm saying that right, okay? Let me pull back. The sail of the boat. And it's an infinity sign. So this is a lifetime investment is what I'm getting. Two of Pentacles. And this energy may seem like it's not so safe. You know, it came out funny. It, give me the Two of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Yeah, overall energy is a page of cups. This is an offer of love. Someone made an offer of love to you. Two of Pentacles. Thank you. With the High Priestess. Thank you, Spirit. It's me. Um, mm, a death is here. This is changing old patterns of behavior. So there's some changes happening in this energy, okay? This is changing the way you handle money. This is happening in this current energy. There's It's a death when it comes to how it is. Your resources, you're handling your resources. This is a change that are, you are going within. I'm also being told your person, okay, is doing the same. Because this is next to the Six of Pentacles. This is about how you share your resources. This is sharing your resources. Let's talk about it. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Because you may now be in this energy of being financially insufficient in certain areas of your life, material-wise, all right? Because this is giving lots but not getting back. This is you, Libra, giving out so much of yourself, you leave yourself depleted. Whether it's spiritually, whether it is financially, material-wise, this is you over giving in this energy, okay? And it leaves someone in this state of, you know, regret and some pain, right? And you're being told in this area to trim down your lifestyle for a while. Spirit is actually putting you in this energy to teach you to do that for many of you Libras, okay? Yeah, it's true in... Wow, but the lovers is behind that. The, I feel like the both of you are going through the same thing in this energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the five of pentacles on top of the lovers, this is some type of lack you both may be going through in this energy. Give me the six of pentacles, spirit. Whether it's lack of love, because it was the lovers part, okay? And Gemini, excuse me. We're not taking those. Let's get it. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Twin flame energy. All right. The world is here. Closing out a cycle. So there's a cycle being closed out when it comes to the Six of Pentacles energy. Who it is someone was giving to. Uh-huh. Somebody was sharing their resources with someone. And the cycle is closed out. Mm-hmm. It was a mutual fulfilling relationship that this energy wanted to give to or wants to give to. A cycle is closed with the Six of Pentacles on who it is they shared their resources with, thinking that they would both benefit. However, this energy is like upgrading, all right? They're upgrading in the energy. They can have a Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Taurus energy. Because this is a mature and fulfilling relationship that they want. They want to successfully reach goals and travel to do this, okay? This is what this card represents. So they're closing out a cycle in this energy. Five of Swords, okay? 
And it's due to the arguing. Uh-huh. And when it comes to any type of money matters with this person right now, in this energy, they avoid arguments and all their enemies, okay? Yeah, they're shaking the spot when it comes to this energy. And this could be a Taurus energy. This person has Taurus placements that they're dealing with because this card, wow, this is an emperor. It's an emperor energy. Yeah, I saw these horns sticking up and these same horns, it just it just brought me to pull them, okay? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and an emperor is somebody who is stable. They have they want to create their own stability. They create their own stability through being more mature and loyal. They practice loyalty in this energy, okay? So it's an emperor energy that my Libras are, you know, even for my masculine, it's an empress energy. But this is someone who moves like a boss, okay? Going to open the window for a little while. Spirit, give me... Why is the world here with the Six of Pentacles? The world for the Six of Pentacles for Libra. Okay. Two cards came out. Eight of Wands. And Justice. Wow. You're showing up, Libra. There's a message, okay? What I'm getting is... There's a message from the Most High. This is justice is the message from the Most High. Uh-huh. This is closing out a cycle with a message from the Most High. And that is seeking some balance and some fairness. That's what justice is. And fair financial decisions being made. A settlement is reached. All right. There's been a settlement reached in the ethers. OK. And I want to explore how I don't know if you all can see it, but there's a whisk of shooting stars that come from out of the skies into the physical realm. When we look at these lit up wands, all right, that look like crystals lit up. OK, so this is communication. These wands are being used as a communication from the stars that is creating this justice here. Eight of wands, love, a sudden love affair, fast and passionate. That's what this card says. And as far as money goes, a split second decision, rapid gains. This is what happened. They closed out a cycle with someone in the past that was codependent on the in the energy, okay? And they're mad about it, okay? And they're mad about it, all right? Because every time I speak, that's when that engine takes off, okay? I get a lot of, you know, sounds from the frequency and the environment I live in too, all right? So those are just confirmations, beautiful ones. They mad about it, all right? And it happened because there was a, that was that wild card. That's the wild card, a sudden love affair, fast and passionate. Uh-huh. That's this eight of wands energy. That's that message that came from the stars, the universe, all right? When it comes to just seeking balance and fairness, all right? What is right? What is meant to happen? What is not manipulating time, right? Oh, I love this read. Let's talk about it, okay? We got the nine of wands out here. Again, this is resolving some challenges with your partner. Nine of wands, Libra's twin flame. A five of swords, yeah. This five of swords energy is arguing is not the answer. <laughs> wow, spirit is really coming through like the therapist though. Like the straight therapist for you. I love it, okay? <laughs> Oh, this session is on me, as always, beautiful ones. It says arguing is not the answer. So whatever discord you may have with this person, okay, your person, it should never be an argument, okay? It should not be you reaching harder than the next either. However, it says avoid arguments and enemies. This is what this card represents, this five of swords energy. Avoid the arguments so this is what you two may be doing okay and enemies and when you're in this energy of doing just that because you're a wounded hero at the same time you end up cutting off people just to protect yourself 
for your from yourself okay from yourself remember this person could be dealing with some type of addictions as well seven of pentacles this is about investing this is small steps of improvement overall energy small steps of improvement it's like investing into yourself this is self-investment that's taken this is what this is how these twin flame unions come together it's about the work that you're doing on self so these small investments and steps that you take to improve yourself you're actually looking like farmer john around here growing lots of beautiful greenery okay and building up your pinnacles mm-hmm and remember the seven of cards, it rep this seven of pentacles, it represents also time, divine timing in which things come into fruitation, right? I split the deck to the four of pentacles. This energy is holding on, uh -huh. stable, secure, love, and status, okay? They're holding on to this energy, but the, they, the spirit wants you to be stable and secure, in love and your personal status okay let's talk about it nine of swords spirit nine of swords nine of swords oh that's too many i'll take the first one off top a knight of swords okay this is a shift in relationships our relationship so someone is in their head and they're stuck over this shift in the relationship and the shift that happened a more when it comes to that wild card energy is the seven of swords uh-huh this seven of swords we know this is a thief in the night you, you you see the picture okay this is a thief in the night this is somebody who possibly came to steal something it took something deceitful treacherous something sneaky went on okay uh-huh talk behind your back um, yeah, I'm getting a thief in the night, right? But this is someone who wants to seek compromise now. Because remember, the spirit is telling you, you know, arguing about it or having any type of malice feelings behind it is not helping you with your ascension, right? This seven of swords, this is about seeking compromise and using diplomacy, diplomacy. And this warns about moving forward. Risk is high. This is a risk. This is a high risk. And I love that spirit touches on it. You, this, is, this is at your own risk. Okay? Because remember, you're using your high priestess. You're using your discernment. When it comes to this two of cups energy, it is divine. But you take it at your own risk. Give me the Knight of Swords with this energy. Give us more energy. Knight of Swords. Libra. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here in this energy? Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, because somebody has to walk away from something. Wow. This Eight of Cups is walking away from love or project. And this is cutting your losses. When it comes to money, if you had any investments tied into this energy, or you just invested time that's tied to money, right? This is cutting your losses and walking away from love or a project. This is what the card says, okay? Uh-huh. This is the other side of the Eight of Cups. This is the other side of the Eight of Cups. When someone isn't just walking away from someone that hurt them, they're walking away from people that did nothing to them, including love out of fear or whatever reason, right? Because of what it is that they're going through, through this rebirth energy of a death that's here, right? You got the Nine of Pentacles, and they walked away from a Nine of Pentacles energy, and this leaves you self-sufficient. As you entered into the arena anyway, right? Nine of Pentacles. This is such a beautiful card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is being content with or without a partner. This is how you are. This is what it says, okay? And this is also about you acquiring property, profit, and setting yourself up for retirement. Look what's behind the Nine of Pentacles, all right? A Knight of Cups, all right? 
somebody pulling up with a horse and some hearts and a big old cup in the heart, okay? Some love messages that are coming through in this energy. Because you sit in this energy and you know how to sit in the energy. This is about somebody earning or spending and passion, okay? So somebody wants to spend some time and some money on you is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. Because you're in this energy. Like, you spend on yourself. Uh-huh. I split the deck. Two of Swords is here. This was a pause for balance to think on a situation. This is what the Two of Swords is. It's not so cut and dry as everyone may make it seem. Two of Swords. Oh, they're confused. They can't make a decision. They need to make a decision. No, no, no. The Two of Swords is also about a break, a pause to think about a situation. To bring some balance, okay? When I spit the deck, two of swords, beautiful ones. Because you're a whole nine of pentacles, all right? You're a lot to think about, right? Let's talk about it. Seven of cups. Seven of cups for Libra. Seven of cups. Seven of, thank you. The will of fortune. That's what indulging in your fantasies is connected to. It says, enjoy an improvement in relationships, okay? And... When it comes to your money, it's what's in motion brings success. It's already in motion, okay? Yeah, it's in motion. So indulge in the fantasies and the thoughts of everything that it is that you're creating in this energy of manifesting. Yeah, this is where you're at. You're in this Wheel of Fortune energy. You tapped in. Uh-huh, you're tapping in. Overall energy is the three of pentacles. This is a collaboration. This is staying positive about your work throughout your differences. Whatever comes between you and your energy, your twin, when you two connect, okay? This is about not falling off. That's why that infinity sign was on that cell, that sailboat. Because it's about coming together what is truly divine with this two of cups here making it do what it's supposed to do for the embitterment and the highest good of humanity mankind all right you're not just here to love on one another you're here to create a frequency of what real infinite love infinite love looks like Hermit is here. Give me the hermit spirit. Give me the hermit. Thank you. The emperor is here. Wow. It's the hermit. Okay. Look, the hermit is <clears throat> needing some time alone and more independence. There was an emperor who needed some time alone. Okay. Is it a crime? Mm -hmm. That's, that just came to my heart and head. Okay. Yeah. Is it a crime? It shouldn't be. The Emperor's a stable, mature love and loyalty, okay? So why wouldn't you want this energy to have some time? They're also success in business or legal matters, all right? Whatever it is, they're just going to win, 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 no matter what. Give this energy the time that they need. And I love this, this sequence. This is an Indian man, American Indian man meditating in hermit mode but they're a whole emperor out here but they need their solitude they need their peace in order to step into emperor formation okay two of cups spirit give us the two of cups this is your twin flame reading overall energy is the four of cups this energy they withdrew from affections and indifferences so wherever it is they felt unloved at they withdrew from this energy, all right? Attached to money and security. So whoever it is that they withdrew from, it felt like it was an attachment to their security and their money. So they had to withdraw from that in order to create their own stability is what I'm getting to step into this emperor energy. This is the four of cups. This person is sitting alone at a waterfall. Uh-huh. It's not yet a missed opportunity. There's still a cup that's sitting up here. He has something to reach for. At arm's reach is what I'm getting. Give me two of cups, spirit. Thank you for Libra. Thank you. 
Ooh, it getting kind of wicked. Two of Cups. All right, there you go. So Knight of Wands energy, a lot of passion in this energy. But this Knight of Wands, this is enjoyable, uncommitted affair, okay? Uh-huh, that's what this card says, beautiful ones, okay? A lot of passion, but this is enjoyable. This will be something enjoyable. This is an enjoyable energy. We're going to tap into this energy. Woo, my goodness, spirit is coming through. Okay, it says take the risk also, okay, when it comes to connecting with this energy and making money. It says take the risk. Action is favored. But the type of love this is, is it's enjoyable, but it could be an uncommitted affair. But it's telling you to take a risk. And the action is favored when it comes to money. So you and this person are meant to build together. But what I'm hearing is it doesn't mean that this energy is done acting up is what I'm getting. When it comes to being loyal. Because the Ace of Swords comes out. Rising above adversity and healing. Wow. So in the beginning, what I'm getting is between you and them, they were in this energy of being just somebody to enjoy in that way. Whether it was, you know, uh, sensuality, whatever it is you enjoy with this person, right? They were uncommitted. And it was an uncommitted affair that you reach this energy in twin flame right but this ace of swords is here and this is about rising above adversity and healing from this money is inspiration and it's possible a new job and it's clarity when it comes to you know someone knowing um the connection that needs to be made in order to make this change this transformation in the energy give me the knight of wands spirit Oh, okay. Wow. Seven of Pentacles comes out. Small steps to improvement. Uh-huh. Those small steps. This is investing in one another. And this could be a King of Cups energy, okay? That could be a water sign. King of Cups energy. And this love is a kind and romantic man. That's what this card says. This is my favorite card in this deck. I ain't gonna hold you. And I have not used this card deck in a little while now. Um, this card is so gorgeous to me. This is a kind and romantic man that has love on their mind. This is why they sit in this energy of the nine of swords that we see up here. Okay. And when it comes to money, this man will help you and they're talented. They're very talented. Okay. So I just heard you won't have to do it all alone. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. I split the deck. Six of Wands is here. It will be victorious. The Six of Wands is a time of happiness and encouragement. And when it comes to money, it says well-deserved success. You are being noticed, okay? You and your person will be in the public eye to some extent is what I'm getting. You'll be noticed for your talents, okay? Remember this, this energy, this King of Cups energy is a talented man. And you come with your own gifts and talents. Let's go ahead, hit the chariot up, Cancer Energy, and get ready to close out. Give us a chariot. Give us a chariot. Because remember, you're not chasing love. Page of Wands is here. Play. Playful, honest relationship. This would be a playful, honest relationship. You won't need to chase anything, okay? It'll be something to play with, all right? The moon is here. High emotions with some illusions. You this person will fantasize together is what I'm getting. And it'll be highly emotional relationship. A high emotion. Emotions will run high is what I'm getting. Give me more about it. Page of Wands. Tell us more. Tell us more about this energy. Okay. Hangman is here. Okay. And these aren't read in reverse. But if it was, it would be good either way it goes. Um, the hangman is here. Um, this is about you are your partner releases control and ego. We saw ego was the last card to come out in the twin flame oracle. 
Someone needs to release their ego. You are your partner, even the both of you. Changing your mindset about money, career, and jobs, okay? Whatever's going on, it's your attachment to how it is you're viewing money and connecting it with your relationship is really leaving you tied at the ankles being suspended in the air causing a suspension and it's connected to a low vibration of holding on to the ego beautiful ones okay you got the five of wands that's here and this is chaos and fighting and competition but this is about bickering and letting go of the ego at the same time the ego needs to be let go of all right in this energy and tension at work or gossip may be tying into this for some of you, okay? It's some type of tension that's adding to it when it comes to your job, what it is you do for a living, and gossip. It causes everything to get more, you know, um, chaotic in your life, okay? When things aren't balanced. Overall energy, and we're going to close out, beautiful ones, this is the Page of Pentacles, okay? This is meeting through work practical it could be romantic or not romantic all right but this is someone who you may work with is what i've been getting at okay yeah and it could be romantic but it'll be about a study of finances somebody could work in healthcare. somebody could work in uh, finances as well as what i'm getting Spirit, give me this five of wands with the hangman and we'll close out. Five of my wands. Thank you. Okay. The three of cups. This is socializing with friends and kindred spirits. So what I'm getting is for those who have not met their person yet, you can meet this person and it's going to be in relation to your work. Okay. This is going to be a social event. This is going to come through socialization with some friends, a kindred spirit. All right. You could meet your twin flame in this energy. It's going to be a kindred spirit. Okay. And it's connected to group efforts you could be a part of a collaborative with this energy okay something energetically are drawing you two together no matter if you know your twin flame you've met them already or you are soon to encounter this energy if you're just cross watching and interested to know if you've met your twin flame or not i split the deck the sun is here this is the truth and the sun is about happy relationships with a bright future beautiful ones and a period of prosperity honors and recognition that comes along with it don't forget to hit the like button support our channel in growing beautiful ones subscribe if this is your vibe, okay? Beautiful ones, only if this is your vibe. I would love to have you here at the Dynasty. Join the tribe. This is your twin flame reading, beautiful ones. I'll be back in the energy for some more fire. Peace and love.